Well, Coach, we saw the uh, end of the non-conference season with a, with a good Santa Clara team, and then what a, what a nice way to get the Pac-12 conference started with a win over USC. Yes, it was an interesting weekend. We were obviously disappointed with the Santa Clara loss, although Santa Clara played very well uh, on the night. You know, maybe overall just edged it in terms of being the better team and definitely the more clinical in the final third, and so they got their just reward. Obviously, for us, though, to then have to go down to uh, Southern California and a tough environment, well-coached, talented team. To go down a goal that early and come out of it with a win is obviously very exciting. It's been three weekends on the road, an interesting schedule you have this year. Now we move into a, a five-match five stretch, three straight weekends at home. Uh, how much did you guys learn about yourselves being battle-tested on the road? Well, we're definitely that battle tested. You know, we've handled environments very, very well, which is very pleasing for us as a staff because we're so young. You know, but you know, if you're if you're good enough, you're old enough is our kind of philosophy, and we've proven that on the road in some very hostile environments. And we're hoping now we can do that to other teams now, get a great crowd out for obviously two talented teams coming in this weekend and beyond. But we're hoping that the the crowd can help us get through this weekend. We've had an opportunity to play some of the top teams this season and top programs historically, Stanford certainly at the top of that list though. Yeah, so I mean if, you, if you're going to be one of the best, you've got to play the best and Stanford has set the bar high for the last few years now and you know they're probably disappointed not to have won a national championship so they're that caliber, you know everything about them exudes class from their coaching staff through their team so we understand what we're getting ourselves into um, we're excited about the opportunity and to find out a little bit more about ourselves. So we're looking forward to Stanford and then obviously Cal on Sunday. During your, your stretch on the road, you had three come-from-behind wins where you were down a goal at halftime. Is there something that you guys talk about at halftime that's make tactical adjustments that leads to better production in the second half? Other than the coaching staff <laughs> maybe in, in cardiac arrest. If it can do, no, uh, uh, well, I think one of the things that we're very fortunate of, and I have great faith in my staff and great faith in our players to be perfectly honest and so halftime has been a combination of us being able to either hey we need to step this up or okay let's make these adjustments and I think we're very fortunate that we've got players that are willing to listen um, and when they listen and they listen to the things that we try to give them then you know obviously the product that's gone out there has given us a chance to get back in the game and, and in some scenarios go on and win the game obviously so those are good characteristics but you know, we we wouldn't be turning so gray or losing so much hair, losing so much hair. Sorry if if we didn't go about it in a different manner. So we're hopefully not going to put ourselves in too big of a hole this weekend. And probably one of the biggest positives of this season you and I have talked about a couple times is just the depth of your program. You're obviously young, but you've had the freshmen that have produced, but you've got a ton of people that have already found their name in the stat sheet this season. We have, and I'm excited for them. You know, we we're pretty even killed in terms of the ability across the team, and so. That's really exciting for the future, you know, especially as you know, alluded to that we are quite young. But you know, the, our time is now, 